Hello, my name is Vince Chambry, and I hope you enjoy my audition pieces. And a very good morning to you, Afua. Good morning. Coffee is what you should be saying. My brother should be here, not me. Oh, oh. But then I'd be denied your sunny, happy, sweet disposition. I'm in no mood for your jokes, Edward. I should be in class now. And I should be in London now. The Queen had a fit when I canceled our tea party to take charge of you. Now, come. You can begin by cleaning these balls. <laughs> I was just thinking of something so funny. The other day I came across a swimming path. I mean, a path, you know? Running beside the Otai River, you know? And I thought, and of course, now that you and I are working together... I should not be working. I just wrote a perfectly beautiful essay, and it has to be handed in today so I can go to university in Accra. Accra? Accra's a wicked place, Afua, and dangerous. People get sick there. Oh, Edward, this is the year 2000, a new century. Cities aren't dangerous anymore. <sighs> I bet you'd go to Accra if it wasn't for that phobia of yours. That what of mine? Phobia. I read all about your problem. You have agoraphobia. The only problem I have right now is you. Why won't you leave Kofrona? Why do you always make excuses when my father needs help bringing the cotton to the gin in t Tamale? I, I, I leave Kofrona? I just have no use for big cities. People with agoraphobia restrict their normal activities but, because they fear crowded, enclosed, or wide open spaces, and they may even refuse to live, leave the safety of their homes. What do you say to that? I say, look at the mess you made. That's what I say. See here, this is the correct way to sort cotton. Cotton bowls over here. Then you can separate the seeds from the shells. Three piles. The seeds are needed for our next planting. My way is faster. They're true. And it's wrong. There is no right way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it is. So there you are. I, I, don't be afraid. It's only me, Edward. I'm not frightened. I, I don't know what I am. I have never seen this necklace you wear tonight, Afua. It is like a prey, a frame for your pretty face. It is my nana's. Edward, if you speak to Daddy tomorrow, I'm sure he'll release you from your promise. I have no wish to be released. I, I love you. And I want your life and mine to be one life. You love me? How can you love me when all I do is cause trouble? Don't you know that you are as pure as rain? Childhood and trust still cling to every part of you. And because of that, it is my job to protect you from the dirt of the world. Oh, you don't love me. You only want me because of your phobia. Because you'll never meet any other girls since you never go anywhere. I don't have this phobia you talk about. I stay in Caprona because I hate cities. Especially Agra. My father went there looking for work and was beaten and robbed. After he came home, his mind was never the same. And within a year, he was dead. I, I didn't know. And you cannot know everything, Afua. Before my mother died, she made me a promise never to go to Accra, and I vowed to her and to God that I would not. God has kept me safe and sane ever since, and I know God approves my love for you and our marriage. You cannot explain Escape your fate, my little ass and I. It's my fate as well. You follow all the rules, you swallow all the stories, and every night you wish on a star, hoping your day will come. Trusting in allegories, and every night, boy, look where you are. Lost in the wilderness, lost, slowly dying in the wilderness. And where you are headed, boy, you couldn't even guess. But off you go without a warning, running as you hit the ground. Till our bright and future morning, while our hearts are outward bound. Till one bright and distant morning, and we stop in the ground and then. 